Is your current backup solution just an old workstation with a bunch of disks shoved in it? Do your backup and restore jobs take forever? Are you constantly on edge, anticipating that next ransomware attack? Hi, my name is Matt Slotten, and I'm on our technical marketing and engineering team here at Nutanix. In this quick video, we're going to take a sneak peek at Nutanix Mind V3 featuring Haiku and how it leverages Nutanix objects for its backing storage. Let's take a look at how Nutanix objects can accelerate and protect your backup. Alright, so let's begin by logging into our Haiku backup controller, which is deployed in our Mind V3 appliance. So here's our default dashboard within Haiku. Before we assign policies to a VM, let's take a look at our sources real quick. So I've got two sources configured here. The Phoenix MKT233 is my mine cluster, and the 232 is a target cluster with a few CentOS VMs deployed. And then let's take a look at our targets here. So you see I have a Nutanix Mine V3 Amazon S3 type target. This is in contrast to previous versions of mine, which used volume groups. We are now using objects to back our backup storage here on mine. So we go to virtual machines. Let's go ahead and assign a policy to these CentOS VMs to back them up. So we'll check these and I'll select policies. Let's select the gold policy. Click assign. And then we can go ahead and click on jobs here to the left to monitor the progress of this job. So see this kick off here. We're backing these up in parallel. We'll wait for this job. All right, so our backup job's complete. Let's click on the report for this first one here. Uh, we can see the stats on this job. We have 45 megabytes, which is about 47 megabits per second, uh, completed in about two minutes. And note that we did this in parallel. So we had a total of four VMs that did, did basically completed in parallel. So head back to virtual machines. Let's open our a new tab and head to our mine cluster. Take a look there. So now we can navigate and log in. And I'm going to go ahead and open my unified dashboard by going to the main menu in Prism and selecting Haiku. Here's my unified dashboard. You can see my VM protection status. You can see I've got a number of backups here. Uh, and then if I head back home, I'm going to launch Prism Central. Uh, so we've got Prism Central deployed on our mine cluster. Prism Central is how we're delivering the object storage to mine. So I'm going to go to my main Prism Central menu here and select Services, and then go to Objects. And here you'll see I've got my Nutanix objects. And I've got a bucket deployed in here called Mine Backups. So you see I've got 209 objects in here. I can dive into the performance of the specific bucket here. You can see my total puts and gets, obviously a lot more puts because I've just written to it. Uh, there's my throughput there in megabytes per second. And then my first time to byte there as well. Uh, so pretty good performance in that backup. Uh, let's also go ahead and dive in and take a look at the actual objects. So I can go to the object browser, if I copy the public IP address of my object store and open a new tab, if I just paste this in here and then navigate to object browser, this is a new feature in objects 3.1. I'm going to use my access key here for my Haiku user. And this will let me actually browse the bucket and I can actually see the files here that Haiku has stored for my backups here. So pretty useful. Uh, I can just see you know all, all of my different uh, components here in metadata. If I head back here to my object store, I can go ahead and configure worm now too. So let's go ahead and configure worm, which is write once read many. I'm going to enter one year and enable worm. And now my backups are protected for one year. So as you can see, Nutanix Mind version 3 takes advantage of Nutanix objects for its backing storage rather than volume groups. This conveys a number of benefits, including performance, scalability, as well as ransomware protection. Be sure to check out more videos on our YouTube channel featuring Nutanix Mind version 3, Nutanix objects, or other Nutanix solutions. Thank you for watching.